Whoa! 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 Hey everyone, my name is Asil and welcome back to Mass Effect. Um, we are here, which I don't really know where I have to go now. I released the queen. And people in the comments seem to think that that was a bad idea. Or not a bad idea, but like, I saw some people say, hmm, I wonder what what's gonna happen now. And I'm kind of scared. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm scared. I mean, we released them. Why would I be here, right? I really hope they aren't here anymore. <laughs> I'm very scared. And my cat. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Mm. Also, I might have gone a little bit overboard. I noticed that shooting sounds are very, very loud in comparison to my voice and to their voices and the music, so I put it down to like 15. So I really hope it's gonna be okay now. Also, this is my cat. <laughs> um, when she comes like that and like looks at me, that usually means she wants to go in the lab. Um, head to the Mew Relay, what does that mean? No? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander's right. We can't rush off blind. We need more to go on. What about Liara Tissoni? The, the Matriarch's daughter. Isn't she some kind of expert on the Protheans? Yeah, right. Her mother was working for Saren. I bet she is too. But Nezia helped us in the end. Maybe Liara will too. At the very least, we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster to find her. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? Fuck off from my best friend forever. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, commander. Ugh. Okay. Don't let it happen again. I like Tali. We're done here. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Tali is so cute when she was talking about, like, engines and how she excited she is to see them. Like, how Patching can you through, be mean Joker. to her? Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? <laughs> and then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? <laughs> I can be really funny if I want to. <laughs> Should I be funny? Uh, three? No, four. <laughs> this is no joke, Commander. The Rachni were one of the greatest threats the galaxy ever faced. <laughs> Disconnect. Oh my god. Not these ones. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. I really think she is actually nice, the Queen. I got Renegade and Paragon. <laughs> now we kinda have to go see the Matriarch's daughter. Which some people said like... That it would be better if I found her before I found Venezia. Because then I could bring the daughter. But I actually like my way better because I don't want her to see her mom die. You know? Why would I... Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in oh. from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. From Is who? it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. Oh. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Do I have to go back to the room? Where was that? Was that here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Commander Shepard. We've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Ooh! I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? <laughs> Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. 
What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. So, does that mean that Saren is on that planet? Could you play this game and never find the Matri Matriarch's daughter? Because to me, now it seems that you can just go after him on that planet. I don't know. Okay, let's try to find her again. Somebody told me in the comments where exactly she is and... I'm gonna be honest, I don't see it anywhere again. That name. Oh no, I didn't do the quest to uh, for the that guy who wanted to smuggle things on my ship. I forgot about that. Hmm. Scary. Slingshot. Also, in the last episode, <coughs> my freaking microphone started to pro uh, like produce or I don't know how to exactly say this at like the minute 40 to the end it was constantly like static noise and my voice and that was so fucking hard to edit because like I had to go through all of the things where I'm like silent and just mute no it was very annoying so the last episode was really really hard for me <laughs> Oh my god, where is this? Hold on, I'm gonna check out the comment again. Okay, it's on this one, and I think this one? Terum is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with fossils or simple silicon-based organisms indicate blah 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 blah. What does it even mean? <laughs> 59 Celsius! Wow! That's hot. Um, who do I want to bring? I want to bring Tali. Even though I think she would be kinda... happier on the ship, because I think she likes the... engines and looking at all that stuff. But we never brought her to a mission, so I think... We have to now. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Um, I'm kind of scared. That's kind of some kind of refinery. And what's here? Why can't I move my map? There is nothing here. Oh, guys, I'm scared. Again. Is that lava? Oh my god. Can I run into that? Let's hope not. Can I drive on lava? I kinda want to check it out, but I think I can't. <laughs> oh, this plant is scary. This is where he, she is. Liara, I think she's called. This place is scary! <gasps> I didn't... Can I do it now? Hold on. I didn't level up my squad. Oh, I can do it now. Yay! So she is for electronics. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> Increases tech resistance. I think I should give her... Oh, maybe better if I give her armor. I noticed that uh, you really, really need armor. Hacking. What's that? Recharges your tech 
proximity. Oh no, my cat is on my PC again. Is she gonna turn it off? Okay, she jumped off. <laughs> this is very, very stressful. I'm gonna give her all of her, like, things. She is a pistol person. That's good. I'm gonna give her that. And, um... Hmm. What else? Maybe this one? I don't know. She's gonna be a pistol girl. And armor. Ooh, she can be a master. Nice. Okay, for us, nothing. <laughs> also, I need to give her better equipment. Oh, we don't have any armors for her. Okay, I think this is the best we can do for her. Isn't she very cute? Tali. Oh no, I see enemies. Tali and Caden. My favorites. And Garas. Garas, of course. Garen, how I like to call him. That was actually on accident. It was so funny because I... The, I realized, like, when I saw his name, I was like, his name is Gareth? And then, five seconds later, I still say Garen. Whoa! 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 What the fuck? Isn't that Saren's ship? Oh no, Gets! Very scary. What the fuck is that? Okay, that's not an enemy. Oh, thank God. I was so scared. That's where I have to go. Oh my God. Oh, I saw something and it stopped. I don't think we can take that strong point head on. So, what do you suggest? Oh my God. 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 This seems like. A better pet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm scared. Okay, let's... How do we exit? Okay, this is how we exit. Hold on, hold on! She needs to have a pistol. Oh no. I think snipers are good for, like, people and not for shields. Oh god, oh god. What the fuck do I have? Hold on. This one shoots weirdly. Okay, where are they? There is someone around here. Oh god. Guys! Ah! Ah! What the hell? I'm scared. Oh, Tali, you're Take here. Out those hostiles! <laughs> Not now, Commander. <laughs> they are funny. They want to go here? Why? Ah! Oh god, I scared myself! I wanted to sprint, I forgot you have to hold space and not shift. Oh my god! Rocket! Three bullets and he's down? Wow, this, this assault rifle is amazing. Okay. 
Calm down. Okay. Wait a second. Mm, I don't think I got anything better. Oh. Shift again. Okay, so what now? What did I do? Oh! Oh god. Am I even damaging this thing? I don't think I am. Let's go the other way. Wow. That lava. Okay, so we have to like disable the turrets, I think. Oh my god. <gasps> I died! <laughs> How shocking! I got so scared. Didn't think I'm gonna die. Okay, oh, I'm here. Oh. oh, he needs healing. How do I heal? Oh my god, I forgot. Is it V? Yeah. Okay. Kaden, you're okay now. Ouch! Oh my god. Okay. Perimeter clear. Thank you. Also, I think I should um, not, not say the bad word anymore. <laughs> What the fuck are you shooting? Also, I think I should um, not, not say the bad word anymore. <laughs> I can't help myself, it's scary. I don't do it like to do it. I do it because I'm scared. <laughs> okay, oh. Okay, go in, go in, okay. It doesn't do much damage to my in my car. I need to be careful to not overheat. Okay, so... <gasps> From here we go and destroy them. Ooh, this is nice! Okay. Carrying on. Moving on or whatever. Was that Terran ship or that was that just like get ship? Ooh! <laughs> I dodged in real life! <laughs> oh, can you tell I'm scared? Head up! Whoa, bitch! Where am I going? Isn't this the way how I got here? Sky looks scary and dark. Please don't be nighttime. Did I come from here? I have no idea. Yeah. What? What do I do? What the fuck was that? Yeah, I came from here, so no thank you. Yeah. These are the doors. Oh. Are there turrets? Nope. Okay, so this is where I have to go. <laughs> it took me a while. Oh my god! Oh, I got so scared! I see more turrets on the minimap. Oh no, I overheated. And I need to repair. Repair! I can't repair? Why? <gasps> there is 
my god! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Why can't I repair my thing? I'm assuming I go here. I think maybe there is nothing here. Okay. This is an intense situation. I know it's not probably for you and you're like, why is this chick so scared of nothing? But trust me, it's scary when you're he here. Oh god. What's loading? What the... what? There? I don't understand. Can I climb this wall? Oh, I can't. For a second, I thought I could. Oh! Heading out. This is a way out. Hostile <laughs> uh. contact. I saw a rocket fly by. Nice, good job guys. They got him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. Everybody is okay, okay. Nice. I like my team. Where does this lead to? Nowhere. Oh god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. For some reason, I can't see their health anymore. I see a sniper! Eek! Ooh, that was a rocket! What the fuck? I think those are their sounds. What was this? Something just happened and I got scared. <laughs> yeah. Stop it! Think we're good, Commander. Oh, thank you.
Whoa, my thing overheated. Oh, I'm dead. I think. position. Charging up. Okay. What do they have? Deployed. First night session. <laughs> okay. I don't see the health. Here. I don't know. I think what pops off. I think we got him, Commander. What pops up is. I think they're saying that I shouldn't turn off my PC or something like that. Okay, let's see. Hostile spotted. Mm-hmm. Okay. Perimeter clear. Okay. It's so funny because when I started playing this game, I'm like this and I chilled, relaxed, and like Ten minutes in, I'm like... <laughs> this game is very intense for me. I don't know how it's for you. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin, after it was built. Can you go in the water? I don't want to. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. They look okay. <laughs> My team! Him and in his pink armor. She has a cool armor. Medical kit. Hostile spotted! Oh my god, you assault drone! Powering up! The tiles in those holes remind me of a bathroom floor. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know what the freak is happening here. Oh, I think this is bad. What happened here? For now, no enemies, so you can't snipe them. Oh, he has a headache. I have a headache. Wow. Please? <gasps> Is that her? I I wanted to say I have a Can you hear too. me out there? I'm trapped, I need help. Are you are you real? Oh no, don't be stupid, Liara. Humans do not come here, you're hallucinating. And talking to yourself. <laughs> oh goddess, I am going to die here. We're real enough. Stay calm. I'll get you out of there. You're oddly lucid for a hallucination. They don't usually claim to be real. <laughs> or do they? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't know. I don't usually hallucinate. At least I don't think I do. My name is Shepard. The Office of Special Tactics and Recon sent me. <sighs> a specter? <laughs> That's good. What else would I conjure up? A protector figure, yes. Perfect. Comforting. Well, I'll play along. As you can see, I am trapped here. If you're as real as you claim, find a way to get me out. How did you end up in there? Ah, yes, the figment of my imagination wants me to retrace my steps. See if I can figure out where I went wrong. I was exploring the ruins. When the Geth showed up, I ran in here and activated the defenses. Oh. The barrier curtains could protect me. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. Of course. What good is a hallucination if it can't offer false hope? Listen, if you're real, find some way past the barrier curtain. Find some way to deal with the Geth. Then use the control panel to release me. If you're not real, leave me alone. I'm tired of talking to myself. Oh. Um, okay, um... Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go with our yours then. We'll be back. Don't worry. Poor thing. She tried to save herself and she trapped herself. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not clear. <laughs> Ouch. I need someone to go there. Okay. What's this thing? Enter call. Clear. I don't even know. Okay, so this is the right one. Okay. I can just guess it. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hold on. I need to explore. Weapon locker.
Okay. And storage locker. Ouch. No. Oh. Oh. Hello. Ah, oh, there she is. Now I am hallucinating that you are inside the tower. I must be getting worse. Earlier I even imagined I heard thunder. Oh, poor thing. Explosions. We used the mining laser to bore through. You bored through? <gasps> you're real, aren't you? By the goddess, you're real! Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were a hallucination. I thought I was going mad. Please get me out of here before more geth show up. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! Okay, nice. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... Isn't Benezia her mom? What the hell was that? Maybe I got it wrong. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Ooh. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Uh, okay. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. He needs to move faster. Well, I don't know. Can't actually see a lot here. Oh, okay then. I feel that... Weak. <laughs> oh. Oh... Krogan? Maybe I should have brought Rex. Rex and Tally? Dream Team? Oh god. Surrender! Or don't. That would be more fun. Can we talk? Okay, we can talk. Um, what do you want? Is there a reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Wow. Hand the doctor over. No. Nope. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Mm, not Kill really. Him. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Oh, God. Shields ouch, down. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh. Uh, their shield are okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Why do I have a gun on me? Okay. okay. So they are up. Ooh, I can be here too. Oh, this was easy! Where was the Krogan? I didn't see him in this fight. Did they take care of him? Excuse me. It's mine.
Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? <laughs> it's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your <clears throat> species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. <laughs> Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species yeah, like Yeah, suddenly yours. long. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. <laughs> it wasn't easy. It's just a bunch of random images. Even after I got the cipher. The cipher? Some Asari mumbo-jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked, though. The cipher altered my perception of the visions, but it's subtle. I still can't make sense of what I'm seeing. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions, but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. Oh, okay. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. It's worth a shot. Okay, but I don't think it will help, to be honest. Relax, we tried Commander. already. Two times. Embrace eternity. <laughs> ooh, ooh. 
Oh, this again. Oh. Why is it so red? <laughs> oh god. That was Kitty. incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What'd you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. Uh... You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. Mm -hmm. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably came after me because he feared I could help you understand it. I oh. was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. Find the missing portion, and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? <laughs> I can say no, that would be so funny. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Mm -hmm. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't okay. know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Hmm. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. They're kind of annoying, to be honest. Always meddling and not doing anything. <laughs> I want to talk to my crew. Uh, she's not here. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Oh, I should go. Goodbye, I Commander. she might be able to tell me is Liara okay. Oh, there she is. Hi. Are you okay? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? <laughs> you look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Aww. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Mm -hmm. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. 
I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful, and now she is gone. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered <laughs> yeah. around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. Mm -hmm. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Oh! I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Um, okay. I should I think, go. Yeah. Goodbye, Shepard. <laughs> uh, so, she's okay. <laughs> Let's see what Caden has to say. Is there even gonna be anything new? Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Oh, okay. Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. <laughs> That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. I mean, if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart, and hope to die. What are you talking about? Uh... Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. Oh my it's god. A source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady. Not to my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claimed to be big <laughs> on alien culture. Uh... My relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. All right, only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. Look, there's nothing between Liara and me. What's the real issue here, Caden? You're right. Sorry, it wasn't, uh... Liara's not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. Do you get my meaning? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over <laughs> your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. 
After first contact, Kinetix was set up to track element zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetix could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turrets, ah. actually. That's why Kinetix kept it a secret. Mm -hmm. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Oh. Is wow. there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. I mean, hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. You had a bad teacher? Uh... Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the Dreadnought that killed your father. Well, I told him my dad wow. wasn't in the war. He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all of this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. Mm. So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't <laughs> serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are <laughs> regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. Okay. Um, is this gonna just be something new? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. She seems nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. <laughs> Any intentions there, Lieutenant? None, Commander. I prefer adventurous women. Ah, okay. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Woo! Uh, what's here? I was never in this room. Uh, I want to speak to the rest of my crew. Shepard's locker. They call. <laughs> Wait, how did I get to the rest of my crew? I forgot. Oh, yeah, here. So this is where Garrus, Ashley and Rex are. Mostly. I still need to go see Tali. But I forget where Tali is. I think she's might, might, maybe here? Hey, Garrus. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. Didn't I already... There were several reasons, I guess. Ask him this? Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was C-Sec, one of the best. I don't remember I him telling me this. his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Oh, uh, that's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. Yeah. My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he uh -huh. says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. Oh. Uh... He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No <laughs> offense. <laughs> I suppose um, I can understand his concern. Yeah. You can. Kinda. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules. c sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Yeah. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. 
Oh, that's it. We can talk more. Oh, Ashley, you were mean to Tommy. Commander, do you have a few minutes to talk, one on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time oh. off the record. Is this duty related, Chief? No, ma'am. Well, maybe. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm. I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. What? With all due respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, okay. sensors, weapons. I heard enough. That's enough, Chief. You always second guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. She doesn't trust these two little babies of mine? What the fuck? So, we've got Saren on the run. Yep. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. Mm-hmm. I could tell as soon as I met him. Ooh, Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job <clears throat> out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Oh. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Smart. Didn't even wait to get paid. Oh, interesting. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts mm -hmm. were right. Every other merc on that mission <gasps> turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Oh, God. So long, Rex. Oh, that's it. Shepherd. Um, I want to talk more to them. Okay, let's see Tali. She was on her first mission. Did she like it? Or does she want to stay here oh. forever? Hello, Shepard. Oh, what's wrong? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. Nice. But I just sort of feel... out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not <laughs> even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's quite the sleep. I like the silence. <laughs> I find it rather peaceful. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. But it's more than just the silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. <laughs> Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Oh. She is homesick. Oh. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. Does she want you to know, go back? There's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. Oh, I so will she wants go, to back go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. 
Oh, okay. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. Oh no, I when already heard this. I don't I know go. why. See you later. With her, I had like one sentence to say, and with everyone else, but with Caitlin, I had like I can whole do for conversation. No. Carry on, Adams. Okay, like well, commander. I'm gonna leave this episode here. I think we did quite a lot in this one. We found our new crew member. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!